What's up guys, my name is Norm School and this is the lowdown of the fundamental flaws of the camel bone metwar. The camel bone pipes are flying off the shelves at mastersofmetwar.com in all different colors. Red ones, blue ones, white ones, all patriotic and shit. But I felt like telling you about some of the flaws that I've found in my six months of owning this piece. I've had this white camel bone for as said six months and I've used it for three months as my daily driver. Treated me well I must say and brought a lot of pipe enthusiasts to ask me what it was. When my black and gold midwalk came into the picture, I kinda sorta put it in my cabinet and didn't use it unless my other midwalks were plugged and I didn't bother to clean them. Let's, let's get to the chase and here's the first flaw. The brass trim on the top of the midwalk tend to fall off uh, because of the glue isn't as strong as it should be to keep, the, uh, to keep them in place under wear and tear. One other thing is that the bolt piece um, is a close bottom brass cutout which which makes the draw slightly more restricted than, than other pipes with, the, with an open bottom one. But now comes the most disappointing thing about the pipe. The glue that sticks the bowl piece to the pipe tends to shrink under heat, which you would use when you're lighting your dohan and thus not allowing you to, to clean it fully because what you'll end up doing is just push all the gunk and stuff under the part between the bowl, the bowl piece and the actual pipe, making it stink and really dirty after each puff, because you tend to vaporize all that shit under there. Your flavor of your doha could also suffer from this, but besides that, if you clean it regularly with a pipe cleaner or some sort of pipe fluid that people use, which I personally never do, you should be able to use this pipe for years. And as a final statement, I do fully support what I said in my review of this pipe. This pipe is utterly beautiful and smokes like a dream. It's stylish, and one thing, it, it it's freaking camel bone. Come on guys, how can you go wrong with camel bone? One other small flaw that I've gotten accustomed to is that it's not as long as other pipes and not cooling the smoke as much as, as I'm used to with the, with the black and gold one. That's why I, I get a bit more of a throat kick when smoking this. But anyways guys, that's all for me. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button down below. There you can also subscribe to the head of what's coming next. All of my social media links are in the description. Follow the annotation at the end to my Doha review playlist. So sit back, pack a bowl, enjoy, and as always, my name is Norskul. Thanks so much for watching.